fashion model who stands for confidence. Hi, I'm TJ. I'm a fashion model and I stand for equality and love. Hi, I'm Kenny Aomi and I'm a fashion model. I stand for acceptance because everybody deserves to be accepted for who they are, regardless of their gender, their size, their shape. Welcome to HD Branch Top Models Issue 2021 and congratulations to all the winners. I think inclusivity will stay because I think people are trying to love themselves no matter what shape, size, color, gender they are and I think in future also and right now also designers and brands are taking and trying to you know uh, motivate them uh, giving them confidence so that people think the market in the, in the market they are valued so yeah I think so and I believe inclusivity will stay um, I think it's here to stay. Um, inclusivity was like when it first came out I thought that it will not stay, it's just a fad. But I think it's here to stay now because uh, right now and I think in the future uh, people are getting to know themselves as they're like exploring their uh, you know genders or sexualities or the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they walk, everything is like changing right now. So I think um, it's definitely here to stay, inclusivity is here to stay because it represents all the people out there, um, uh, whether it's non-binary people or people who are plus size or if they're too thin, if they're uh, old or tall or short or anything, I think everybody is included now so it's, it's here to stay. There has been changes in the industry for sure, but um, I can definitely say that we can make it better. Over the past few years, I see diverse and inclusive in the runways, in the magazines and other shows, but uh, somehow, somewhere, there has been lack of representation. And for that to happen, we should all hold our hands and appreciate and celebrate different kind of models. That will definitely bring change, and I can definitely see more models working playing and celebrating their bodies and image. I started my career three years back when there was no, you know, someone to guide us what plus size or what curvy models are there. So I would like to tell everyone uh, we should not be called as plus size, we should also be called as just a model because we are models and people like to categorize us uh, with who all our fuller bodies like to call us plus size but I would say it's you know it's demeaning to call us plus size or curvy models and normal people are always called as models and challenges that I faced so we were body shamed the, the brands you should not use to take us and people were, uh, were making fun of us and we have been sent back from the shoes so yeah there have been so many ups and downs in the career but here we are and i hope uh, the industry is changing and people are changing people are trying to love themselves i actually didn't face um, a lot of challenges when i was starting out because i do identify as a man and i do identify uh, you know as a guy but uh, uh, like I have faced a certain amount of um, when I was doing a lot of uh, gender like non-conforming shoots I think I did face like I was not getting that commercial work and stuff but I think I didn't face that many challenges to be honest but in day-to-day -day life there are more challenges than in fashion because in fashion I feel everybody is very accepting and they just invite everyone in no matter who you are or um yeah so i think i didn't really face that many challenges when it comes to fashion 
If I have to lie, I definitely have so many reasons, but um, let me just make it easier for you. The industry has been very accepting for me. When I started my first runway show, the supermodels and the choreographers to the makeup team and the designers, they have been very accepting. So for me, I wouldn't say that it was difficult for me, but um, sometimes, of course, like I was always like, I was short my place in certain places and certain shows, but I think it's not only to models like us, there are other models who also face the same situation. But yeah, um, for me, I didn't really, I don't really, I didn't really have to struggle and I don't really take those kind of things and discrimination or something else and I rather look up in a constructive way. So that's all challenging for me. I would like people to tell uh, you should love yourself no matter what shape, size, color you have. You all are beautiful and stop bothering what people say around you. Stop caring what they say about you, what they feel about you. You should always love yourself and if you love yourself, people around will automatically love yourself. So stop hating on each other, stop bothering each other. Yeah, that's it. Uh, my message to those who do not conform but they have a dream is I think you should just keep going, you should believe in yourself and um, whenever the right opportunity knocks on your door, just take it and I feel that uh, this industry is growing, the world is growing and the world is becoming more accepting and more, um, they just like just more loving in general I think. Um, so just keep going and do not stop and uh, you'll make it through. Paul, I mean it's very important to love yourself and it's not necessarily mean that you have to come out and then you know like fight with the society or the world but accepting yourself and loving yourself is important and I think dreams are I mean they don't have limits sky's the limit and you're allowed to dream you're allowed to be who you want to be so yeah I think just be yourself truly and definitely like it will take you everywhere you're confident and you love yourself.